Hi there and welcome to another Clemmy tutorial. This tutorial briefly is designed to help you understand the basics of inputting information onto the service grid. In front of us here we have on our test installation the standard service grid. To get to this page you start at the home page, click on services and you'll end up on our default service grid. Now different grids are going to look different depending on how you've got them configured in your church but the basic idea is always the same you have services by date and time down the vertical axis and you have the columns that you've chosen across the top this particular tutorial focuses on how to assign people to a particular role in a service and for that reason we're going to be focusing on these four columns here reader service leader preacher all age slot all four of those columns allow you to actually assign a person to a role. Now you'll see from the grid already that a number of roles have been assigned. On the 18th of September at the 9.30, Sarah Aardvark is the reader, Laurie Alderson is the service leader, and Edison Alderson is the preacher. Now uh, the purpose of this tutorial is simply to teach you how to get to that situation. So let's take this blank row here, 5 p.m. on the 11th of September. How do we input someone here? Well, we click on the cell. Uh, a, uh, a little dialogue comes up. Uh, let's start typing the surname of the person that we're thinking of putting in there. Emmy Bond. Uh, let's say it's Keith Bond is going to do it. So I've moved down with the arrow key. Click return. And then click the tick. And Keith Bond has now been assigned that particular role. Uh, let's now input the, t uh, the preacher as well. Um, I'm just going to have a bit of a browse down by clicking down. Let's put John Alderson. And that's how you fill in a column on Clemmy. Now let's just say that um, uh, we've made a mistake. It, it isn't actually Keith after all. Uh, where the cursor is flashing we can simply delete um, and put in the proper person. Uh, if we want to leave it blank, uh, we could click the cross here and click tick. That then leaves it blank. And one more thing, you may have noticed these two columns are not, not behaving exactly the same way. That's because the reader column actually allows you to uh, um, assign multiple people to the job. So Keith and Emmy could have that job. Um, and uh, that's because the reader column has been set to be a role where you can assign multiple people. The preacher column only has uh, one person. So once I've chosen one person, that's all I can do. If I then want to add another person, I've got to um, I've got to overwrite the one that's that's there already. Um, so that's how we add uh, and delete and change people on our service grid. Happy administrating.